What is up everybody? We're out here with the new 2023 Vanquish. This is a C2000 S. Mm. All right. On the box, there's no description like the other Vanquishes, I believe, but this thing's crazy. Crazy. First impression out the box. Look at that oscillation. There's literally no oscillation. Zero vibration. It's super smooth. Looks nice. Sounds good. Smooth drag, smooth reeling. And it's not too smooth to where like, say like on my Vanford, if I had it right here, the handle would just fall. It stops like whenever you stop reeling. Like perfect, but like the pickup is so like smooth too. It's awesome. Uh, let's see what else should I talk about? All right, so I found the specs. I'll show you all the papers that come with the box. First thing out the box, you got the felt drag washer, and I'm not really sure what that other thing is. I think that's the new anti line twist feature that is right here on the reel. So like, say you have a slack line, it doesn't pop out. Let's see, can you see it? Just know it's right there. It's just like a little stopper right there. But that might be cool. I don't know how that'll be when casting, but it should be fine. So you got one of those and you got two. Actually, these aren't even, yeah, these are just regular washers. They're not felt washers, actually. Yeah, just regular washers you put on the spool. So like, if your line starts going uneven at the top or uneven at the bottom, just put a, put a uh, washer on or take one off and then it'll fix it make it more uh, even again and you have the part manual blueprint and then the handle came in this actually um, when I opened the box I, th I thought they forgot to send the handle but it came in here and then I ordered it from digi taco so this might be a digi taco paper and then here is a manual not really sure what's inside of it Looks like blueprints, like more blueprints. And then here's the specs right here. So this one is a C2000S, which is a five to one gear ratio. The maximum drag is seven pounds, which is same thing for up to the 2500. Let's see what else. Where else did they go up to? Yeah, just up to the 2500 SXG, but it's 140. 45 grams which is I think five point yeah five point one ounces it says right there um, it's not gonna fit a whole lot of two pound on here just because it's a shallow spool the thousand size is even more shallow but this is pretty much perfect uh, when I had my thousand 2016 it just was not enough line for me like I could see the knot on like through the spool um, let's see what else can I talk about on here yeah, the rest of the stuff is just talking about how, like, what line fits on it. Uh, has 11 bearings, one roller bearing. The line retrieve per crank for this one is 69 centimeters or 27 inches a turn. The thing I really noticed the most, I thought the reel was defective at first when it came out the box, but like it moves so slow up and down. Like. When I put line on, it's going to be really crazy to see because the Vanford is just like moving up and down. Same with the other Vanquishes. This part right here is cut out a little more. It's probably for weight reduction. The handle is super nice. You got the little knob. Super clean look to it. Let's take the spool off. I'll show you guys what's on the inside. I am planning to put a ZPI handle on this to see how it feels, but I might push it stock for a little bit. Uh, come on. Looks pretty standard. Uh, get that back in there. Oh yeah, the body's a little more shaped different. Right there, it's a little thinner, more snatched. 
I want all those. This thing is crazy. Definitely worth the wait over four years of building this reel. This is hands down a better feeling reel than the Stellas and the Exist. I don't know how you can make anything really better than this besides like more weight reduction. We're going like full titanium in some areas. Carbon fiber maybe. I know this is a magnesium I believe. I haven't zoomed in, but I'm pretty sure it's just a black finish because I know the 2019 is a little bit of a blue finish and then the 2016 has like a silverish grace with a blue sparkle on it. And then the 2012, I think, is has a golden finish to it. But this just seems like to be a plain matte black. Lots of chrome on it. You could probably anodize this too to customize it however you want. Probably customize it into the red and green color to match my rod. But yeah, the box is nice looking. It's a little, it's gray. It's different than the past boxes, I believe. Whew. Shout out to Digi Taka. I ordered it Monday night and it's already here. Today's Thursday. Crazy. I'm gonna put two pound eyes around this reel. Uh, and then I'll be fishing it tomorrow morning, so I'll give you the post review I Guess you say it's my first review, so I don't really have standards in place, but I guess I need to come up with those and be more uh, Organized with the stuff But tomorrow I'll fish the jig and the spoon and uh, I'll let you know guys let you guys know how it goes Peace What's up everybody? This is the post in post review I just fished it a few days ago, let the opinion sit in my head. Uh, I took it to Green Valley Lake, caught a few trout on it. Nothing big of size to really test the reel, but it performed pretty good. There's a few things I wasn't too sure about on the reel. Uh, I've never fished a brand new Vanquish and I haven't really fished any brand new reels. The last brand new reel I had was my Vanford. And it felt pretty good out the box. This one feels like really good out the box. But once you put it on a rod, it felt a little different than out the box. There is a little bit of resistance, like how the 2018 Exist is. I'm not sure about the 22. I think it has the resistance. And then the 2022 Stella, I know it has resistance. That was the only thing for me is I didn't really like, I don't really like the resistance. The 2018 Exist had pretty, like, it was, I liked it enough, but I wouldn't prefer having the resistance it definitely helps you with your jigging it slows it down for you because sometimes like when i'm fishing my vanford that thing just handles just like keeps turning like it's hard for me to slow down sometimes but this really like slows you down when you're jigging uh let's see i think it just needs to be broken in it definitely was stiffer in the morning it got like less stiffer during the day but I only fished it for three and a half hours. So it only has probably like 100, 150 casts on it. Uh, let's see. I wrote some stuff down. The line lay. Okay, yeah, this is one of my favorite things about it. The way the spool goes up and down super slow is my favorite part. Because I feel like it helps you cast better with the, lay, the way the line is set around the reel. It's just more consistent coming off. I feel like it takes less energy for the line just to peel off the reel than the con like traditional Shimano's were. Th like traditional Shimano's don't do that. I'm not too sure about the Stella. I don't know how the oscillation is on that with the little spool going up and down, but this like lays it perfect. Uh, I have it spooled up a two pound mono. I'm able to fit plenty of it on. I never had any issues with casting with like wind knots or anything. That's one of the things too, like whenever I really spool up a reel, like especially on my Vanford, if I spool it up too much, it's gonna just peel off the line after like, I don't know, a few casts. But overall, this was pretty good for jigging. I had one issue on the spoon, it was just too much resistance. Like it felt like I was like, just trying to like muscle it kind of on the spoon, but it definitely got better over the day. And I notice it's easier to reel it too when the spool is just facing like a flat line instead of facing up. Cause sometimes I'll fish the spoon like, 
like that, and then I noticed how to point it out the lure, and then it, it was fine after that. Uh, the drag is smooth, it sounds good. It looks good, it'll probably match any rod you want to put it on, because it's because it's silver and black. The knob is nice, I like it. I kind of, uh, it's growing on me. I'm used to fishing or fishing a bigger knob, the Gomexis knob. I fished that for probably past three trips. And uh, I don't know, maybe I have to put the knob on here to see how it feels with that. It definitely is breaking in because in the morning or not even the morning when I first took it out the box, I was playing with it and it wasn't spinning as much as my buddy's 2019 Vanquish. But it's starting to spin a little bit more, so I'm thinking like the bearings are, if there isn't, if there even is any bearings in there, which I think there are, they're just spinning more freely. Uh, like I feel the setup being more light too. I'm fishing with a Juicy Beaver 7.6 Ultra Light Rod that I wrap myself, full titanium guides, carbon fiber handle, and then yeah, I can just feel a total difference casting, and fishing. Definitely is a better jig reel. Than the Vanford. Overall, I'd give it a 9.2. It's, I think, it's neck and neck with the 2018 Exist, and that's saying a lot since this is half the price of what that one was. Uh, let's see. I think that's everything I need to cover. Only con is it just probably needs to break in. I, I probably need to fish it for a few more trips, but I'm gonna do that with the thousand size. As when that one comes out, it should be out within a few days. It's like in stock. So right now they're just out of stock. Haven't seen anyone with a thousand size on that. I think everyone has a two thousand. Actually, no, my buddy has a thousand, but he's up in Norco. But yeah, I wish I could fish with it more, but I don't want to, you know, ruin the pristineness of it. My buddy wants to grab it, but I definitely will have a thousand size for view. In comparison, comparing the two, this is the C2000S. There's also a C2000 Super High Gear and then the 1000 Super Shallow something something Power Gear. I don't know. But this one is the 5 to 1 gear ratio. The other one's 49 to 1000 size. And I'm not sure what the Super High Gear is. It's probably like 5 to 8, I think. But yeah, here's the 2023 Shimano Vanquish C2000S. Peace. I was on the fall. I think it's a lassen. I was saying it's got a free color to it. Yeah, that's a lassen. There we go, first one. Oh, it's tiny. Oh, 